So, have you built the code hanger HD antenna only to find out that it won't pick up VHF channels and some of the broadcast stations in your area still broadcast on VHF? Well, that's what happened to me. I live in Tacoma, Washington, and all our stations are broadcast out of Seattle, three of which are still on VHF. Channel 9, the local PBS, 11, the CW affiliate, and 13, the local Fox station. As you can see, I'm getting channel 9 crystal clear, no breakups whatsoever. The existing coat hanger antenna is great for UHF and with a couple simple modifications you can make it pick up VHF as well and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how. I'm not going to go into basic construction of the antenna because if you're looking at this you probably already know how to build the basic antenna and if not the instructions are very simple to find. Um, to do this you'll need a few simple little parts. Um, you'll need to go to Radio Shack and pick up a signal combiner, which combines the UHF VHF signals into one signal for your television set with an output for the TV on the back side. The device looks like this. You can buy it at your local Radio Shack store or various online sources. Also, you'll need a pair of rabbit ears, which you can also pick up at Radio Shack or various online sources. The kind you get should look like this. It's made for the old style TV sets where they had a connector on the back where you could plug the rabbit ears directly into the set. You want one that looks like this. And you will also need a reflector screen. At least I do. I'm 30 miles away from the broadcast towers and for me a reflector screen helps a lot. If you live close to the broadcast towers you may not need this. My screen looks like this. I bought it at Lowe's Hardware. It's called Expanded Metal. Um, this sheet I bought is 12 inches by 24 inches, which is the perfect size, no cutting necessary. Um, like I say, most any hardware store should have this as well. So what you start with is, on your basic coat hanger antenna, on the very top here, you need to drill a hole right in the very center. Um, make sure it's very snug so that when you plug in the rabbit ears, it's a good snug fit. On the front of the antenna, where the balen would normally connect, drill a hole right here, all the way through the front of the 2x4, and you'll need a piece of two conductor wire, say a piece of old lamp cord, a piece about six inches long will do just fine. Um, split the two conductors and strip all four ends of the wire, and screw this piece of wire down right where the balen would have connected before, and then feed the wire through the hole onto the back side. On the back side of the 2x4, take the two wires that poke through the 2x4 and connect these to the UHF connectors on the signal combiner. The two wires that come down from the rabbit ears, screw those to the VHF connector on the rabbit ears. The signal combiner I have doesn't have a thread on terminal, it's like it's the push on type of connector. So while at Radio Shack I also picked up this device which is made to couple two coaxial cables together. You can plug this directly into the back of your signal combiner and then you'll be able to thread a normal coax cable onto this to your television set. Um, if you decide to use the reflector screen, all you have to do is center it on the back of your 2x4 and staple it into place. And that's it. Just like that, you have an antenna that would also do VHF. I took the time to paint my antenna, and as you can see, it's not exactly a bad looking device. And it certainly works nice. Um, check it out. You won't be disappointed.